fear inside of the cryptocurrency market right now is near an all time high. We're seeing, you know, a lot of people scared about the Coinbase and Binance, uh, you know, legal cases. You're seeing now the set getting involved about the altcoins. You know, you're seeing people running to the doors, you know, a lot of people leaving and exiting crypto, selling their crypto, you know, just leaving the space uh, with Bitcoin as well over the last few months in a major downtrend. You know, is this fear actually, you know, something to legit be worried about you know are we actually on the verge of a very big move to the downside uh you know it's just one of these cases where i will always say um at the end of the day you do want to just remain focused on the charts the charts will always show you the bigger story of what's to come okay and at the end of the day we are traders here together and if we want to profit and make you know, actual real profit on this market, then the only way we can do that consistently and successfully is with our technical analysis and taking the best trades. Uh, so, you know, you've come to know me by now in this video. Once again, we will be going through the technical analysis, uh, technical analysis, the technical analysis uh, of the Bitcoin chart. And as always, I will be sharing with you the very best trades to be had. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one and let's get straight into it, right? So, uh, of course, in our last video, we had just rejected from the naked point of control up here around 27,200, right? Uh, from that naked point of control rejection, we actually made our way all the way back down. And have a guess what, my friends, have a guess what, yes, ended in a swing failure pattern. In the last video, literally labeled the only setup you would need right now, and it was swing failure patterns, right? Uh, we had an SFP, okay, of the low down here. So this previous low, we simply come down took that low. That was a long trade setup, 100%. Why? Even with all this fear in the market, at the end of the day, if you get an SFP, you can take that SFP trade, right? So this was our long trade setup. And again, in the end, it gave us sideways price action uh, overall for the lender over the course of the rest of the weekend going into Tuesday today, right? And that sideways price action actually gave us a really nice new trading setup, okay? So that new trading setup that we had was this triangle. I'm going to talk you briefly through this before obviously I'll explain what's happening now on the breakdown of this triangle. But this is what I recognized earlier today for, of course, in the Champions Group, we have uh, daily live stream updates in every morning. OK, and this morning I done my daily live stream update and the only short, you know, the only trade, <laughs> excuse me, that I was interested in if we got the move above the triangle here was the short. You know, no longs. I made that very clear. No longs above this triangle, short trades only. We want to look for that SFP of the high. OK, we want to see the fake out of the triangle high get into that short trade we actually had a really interesting bit of price action here where we swing failure pattern the high once and after that first swing failure pattern i did take a short and i then alerted to my team you know i'm really aware of one more sfp of the high so a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern okay you know actually this was posted before it happened and then around 15 minutes later, we actually see that come to fruition and we got a second swing fire pattern of the SFP. So I'll just show you what it looks like here. So here we can see the first SFP and here is that high taken for the swing fire pattern. That was a short entry that I took. I was then aware as we started to hover around sideways here on this section of the chart. OK, it really looks like we're going to be moving up for a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Be aware of this. It's another valid short trade. And of course, what happened next? We got a, another swing failure pattern of that previous high. Uh, so I actually took two shorts here. The first off of this SFP this high, I actually got stopped out of that trade. I took a 0.5% loss. And I re-entered after seeing the SFP of the SFP, uh, which is now, of course, in around 1.5% profits. So it just goes to show you we're not winning every single trade we take. That first trade ended in a loss. But because we have a plan, we're reacting to the data. And the most important thing, we are ready and waiting for that, right? OK, we, we take the first trade. After seeing the data come in and the order flow, we're making an informed decision of acknowledging and being aware of. It's very likely we now get an SFP of that second SFP, right? So we'll come up and take that high once more. This is a common occurrence that I'm aware of when I see this in the order flow. Make my team aware of that before this high is taken. Then simply once we take that high once more, it gives us any other short trade entry. So myself and other champions managing to get in this and <laughs> uh, profiting on this. You're absolutely welcome, my friend. Uh, but we can see a lot of champions also taking that short of the SFP of the SFP, basically up at that triangle high, right? Everybody in the group of the champions here with that same entry price. Really, really, really nice. And all it comes down to is making that plan, reading the order flow, 
being aware of those trades and executing. So obviously brings us up to where we are now. And okay, we've obviously now seen a you know relatively large drop to the downside from a day trader's perspective. Okay, this is day trader's perspective. We've got a nice move to the downside here, and we're broken down outside of this triangle currently. So now what we'll be looking for is one or two things. Okay, of course our preferred scenario would be this move to test this NPOC on the value area alone. Okay, what am I aware of right now? I'm aware that we have hit into the CC. You know, I'm definitely <laughs> you know, not ever going to catch me not aware of that. So that's why we're getting this current bounce underway and again if you are a very low term time frame scope trader you can be looking for those scope long scope longs around here uh, but basically from this trade entry short we'll now be looking down to that naked point of control what could be an invalidation that we're going to get down to this npoc well in my opinion it would be coming back up and reclaiming the triangle okay so if we actually get the strength to reclaim here get back above that triangle high well then that will look a lot stronger we will hold these higher lows and we could look for the bigger move to around twenty seven thousand dollars right but as it stands that was a valid short trade and for me it's of course has hit a take profit one now already uh, obviously bouncing off of that cc currently but for the next take profit we're looking for that npoc right and if we lose that npoc well guess what we can look for another swing failure pattern of this low but as always for me it's like level to level so i've got my levels marked out and then upon that level to level environment i'm doing you know looking for patterns looking for fake outs looking for liquidity grabs when i get those liquidity grabs i'm then looking at the order flow making informed decisions of what's likely to be coming next when those likely things do happen executing the trades and well as you can see you know, taking really nice, <laughs> profitable, well, in this instance, sh short trade setups. So I come back to what I say at the start of the video. You know, a lot of fear in the market right now. Just because there's a lot of fear, though, guess what? We have to trade the charts. You're given the swing failure pattern of this low. It's a long trade setup. OK, given a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern, it's a short trade setup. So we don't really care what the market's thinking in that regards. Ultra bullish, ultra bearish, who cares? Show me the charts. OK, we'll tell you the news. We'll know it's a long trade when we're down at the lows and it's a short trade off of that high. You know, e.g. <laughs> e.g. Oh, I, <laughs> wrong words, but I kind of stuck in my head that e.g. What I'm trying to tell you here is please just focus on the charts. Look at the high probability trade setups. Again, if you struggle with high probability trade setups, finding them. OK, if you struggle with the confidence of taking the trades, OK, if you, you know, take a trade and you lose a trade and then you're, you know, scared almost to take the next trade. Well, of course, you need that confidence booster. How can you get that? Well, of course, learning would be a very good step. And then once you've learned the modules, once you've studied those modules, it will be moving across to the daily updates. Understand what we're looking for, the live updates that you'll get with inside of the Discord channel. OK, and then it will be moving on to the live training streams. And of course, that's what we've also got right now. OK, so daily live streams, trading updates. OK, and then the live trading streams where then you can actually see uh, the thought process on the stream, why we're entering, where's the stop loss, where's the take profit, you know, live in the time as it's happening, you get those insights. And of course, they're uh, very valuable to you all. Uh, so, yeah, this was the quick video of today hoping you now fully understand what went on over the last few days what i am personally looking at next as my target to the downside and what would be the invalidation of the initial sign of strength and then from there it continues as our level to level trading if you want more in-depth insights exact trading setups what we're looking for next well then you can get that via the champions at chartchampions.com thank you ever so much and hope you have a brilliant brilliant week ahead. Thank you everybody and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.